Now in a cara. Now what you have to do is you have to loop in before starting each part. This is with continuity. You should make sure that you fit your ala only into these set of thalams. Okay. This is very very important when you have hummings like this that kind of fits in between the songs. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good and I hope you are getting benefited from my videos. Today we are going to vibe along with a song that is trending in the internet right now. This song is sung by Sai Abhayankar and Sai Smriti and the song is none other than Nee Pesa Laita Asa Kuda and there is such a beautiful humming in this uh, particular song which goes something like this. So this beautiful humming is what we are going to learn today, okay? Uh, so for that, let's set our Shruti box in the scale D, okay? We are going to try and decode it in the original scale, which is the scale D, if I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. Let's get into the song. So this is our scale D, okay? So if you see the whole alap, it comes down step by step. That's how the composition of the whole alap is, right? So what we'll do, we'll split the whole alap into five different parts. The very first part, starts at the note ga which is two steps above sa ah, this is sa ah, ga this is our starting position the next note comes one step down ah, ah, ah. so which is ga de easy right ah, this is our part one. Now the part two starts one step above where we started the previous one. Where did we start? We started ga, right? And the second part starts one step above this note. This is the starting note, which is nothing but the note ma. Ma sa ma. Okay, ah, ah. and this is the same note that we landed in the previous one. Ah, 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 ah. Got it? Easy, right? Now let's move to the third one. And the third one starts at the same place where we started our first one. Where did we start? Ah, ga. That's where we started. And the third part also starts at the same place. Ah, and it comes back to Sa. Ah, 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 sa ga ga sa. Easy, right? Now let's try part 1, 2, and 3 together. First, we'll sing a round of notation and then we'll sing in the Akara. Okay? Ga re ma re ga sa. Simple, right? Now in Akara. Easy, right? Now let's go to the fourth part, which is. So it is starting one note below Sa. Where is our Sa? And it's starting one note below, which is the note Ni. Sa Ni. Ni, that is where we are starting. Okay, ni the. So what we are doing? We are starting at ni and we are going one step down. Ah, easy, right? Now let's try part one, two, three, and four together. Okay. As usual, we'll try one round in swaras and then we'll try it in akara. Okay. Ga re ma re ga sa ni the. Now in akara. Now comes the last bit of it, which is ah, which is nothing but sa 
So what we are doing, we are starting at sa, going one step down, and then we are skipping one note and landing at pa. Ah, ah, ah. And that's it. This is the whole humming part that comes in the song. So now let's try it from part one to part five, and then we'll see how to sing this in the actual song. Okay? Gadi, madi, gasa. Now in Akara, once again, beautiful. So these are the notes. Now, how do we sing this in the actual song? Let's see the dynamics on how to sing this in the actual song. Okay? When we learned this humming, we were breaking. Ah, ah, ah. That's how we sang, right? Now, let's try and sing this continuously. Okay? Which is nothing but we are not going to break in between. Which means we are not going to sing like. Ah, 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 ah. We are not going to sing like that. Instead, we are going to sing like. Ah, Got it, right? So now let's try the whole alarm this way. Okay? Once again. Very nice. Now what you have to do is you have to loop in before starting each part. For now, let's take the first part, which is. But while you're singing it. Can you see the loop that is coming? Ah, so we are not doing anything extra here. It's the same note. Okay. Ah, these are the notes. Now, when you make it continuous, ah, this is with continuity, right? Now, if you want to loop it, ah, so what we are doing, we are actually starting from the upper note. And then we are going down, and then we are trying to loop it. That's how we are doing it, right? So that's why you see a circle that is forming there, correct? Ah, that's all. This is nothing but looping. Okay. Now we have to do this looping for the whole five bits that we learnt. Okay. Now let's try the first and second bit like this. Ah, this is with continuity. Ah. Understood? It may sound difficult, but if you actually understand what is happening uh, behind these notes, it will be very very easy for you. Okay? So now let's try one, two, and three together. Ah. Now with the looping. Ah. Very nice. Now one, two, three, and four. Ah. With the loops, ah, very nice. Now the whole thing together. Ah, now with the loops, ah, beautiful. Let's try it once again. Ah. respect to looping okay another thing that you should make sure that while you are singing this there should also be some volume control okay you can't sing it like this in the actual song tikk maname pota tittama aa it doesn't sound good right even though it is correct with respect to the notes but it is not sounding right so what you should do to bring out the actual flavor out in this is to control the volume okay when you see the actual song how is it sounding tikkumaname pota tittama aa that's how it is sounding right and what is actually going behind this is controlled volume is what is happening when you notice the first part has a little bit more volume aa 
and also there is a slight push before you start the salap so that push is giving that volume there correct but in part 2 3 and 4 the volume is kind of getting controlled right it is kind of reducing that can you see that can you see the controlled volume that is happening in 2 3 and 4 right now let's try this again easy right now the last part again there is a push and the volume is again going up right ah ah so that ah there is a slight push and the volume is also a little high there correct ah understood so the whole thing together along with this volume ah beautiful right see how nice it is sounding now now when you go to the actual song and try it along with this volume control you will be able to bring out the exact flavor that is needed for that particular ala okay and whenever i sing i kind of add small small brikas uh, wherever possible so that kind of comes naturally to me so that's why you see a small brika towards the end ah, 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 ah. so that brika right that kind of naturally comes to me so that's why you are seeing that uh you can add it if you want it only adds a little more flavor otherwise it's okay to sing it plain also you will uh, not lose out on anything okay so this is with respect to the ala and also the dynamics part but there is also one more important thing that you should know which is the talam of this even though there is this ala you will have to time it to the exact rhythm or the tempo that is going along with the song okay so This particular song is going in chatushram which is 1 2 3 4 4 right now on your screen you will see where exactly the alap starts and where exactly the alap ends okay so while you are singing you should make sure that you fit your alap only into these set of talams okay you should not go beyond and you should not go less than that okay This is very very important when you have hummings like this that kind of fits in between the songs okay so now let's try and see how to fit our humming into this talam okay so if you notice on your screen the ala fits into three counts right 1 2 3 that's all that's all time you have to sing this whole ala okay so now along with this talam let's try to fit our ala let's start very very slow okay Let's try in this pace. One, two, three, four. Let's try in this pace. Okay. Thick man me pota titta ma. Ah, padon chalon pota. Easy, right? When you sing it slow and understand, you'll be easily able to fit your ala up into the ala. Now let's slowly increase the pace. Okay. Let's try in this tempo. One, two, three, four. tik man me pota titta ma a padu taalu poda easy right now let's try in the original tempo which is 1 2 3 fourth tik man me pota titta ma a padu taalu poda easy right now let's try this once again in the original one one Two, three, four. Thick man me pota titta ma. Ah, padu thalu pola. Yam parva me loda ni pesa lighta asa kuda vaso viso katha theda. So that was our song for today. I hope you all had fun learning this. Such a beautiful humming actually that kind of fits very beautifully into that peppy number. So it was so much fun actually listening to this not only listening to this but also now uh, teaching this to all of you. I hope you all had fun learning this. So if you did please do mention that in the comment section and if you liked my video or my teaching please do mention that also in the comments and uh, keep supporting me. and continue singing continue practicing and i'll see you soon with yet another beautiful song next week till then take care